Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. Hope you're having a great day, and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be showcasing 5 Star Nico and also highlighting a bug that we noticed while playing. And we are going to be taking this into Lissandra. So let's go and break down the constellation. So up first, we have each round the first ally you play with a different subtype than other allies, cost two less. So some nice built-in cost reduction that we can get potentially every round. Uh, plus one starting mana. Game start for each ally in your deck. If it is a subtype, grants it impact. Otherwise, it becomes a shapeshifter. So it then gains a subtype just to make sure everything we have has subtypes. And then we are further rewarded for having subtypes by getting that impact. Also, our four star game starts on a green glade lookout, giving us a Yordle that we can get at the start of the game. Not the most impactful fourth star, but decent for helping us level up our Nico a little bit faster. And then the fifth star, just get a mana gem quite nice for an early game deck like Nico. Now as far as the bonus stars we have a couple of these so one reroll and 100 gold. Support champions have dragon's tooth so they get fury and are technically a dragon which is another subtype. Bonehide Tritail has skirmish and saber which is solid for our overwhelm unit and then this is the big one right here that is currently bugged so bird, cat, dog, elnock fey, reptiles, and spider followers you acquire in adventures have studded leather so an extra one one as far as stats so these are all of those types of followers that you pick up while you're going through adventures so this is after battle rewards shops or if, if this is one of the cards with your support champion sadly this is not working or it didn't work in our run i think the reason a lot of people haven't discovered this is this is actually a very hard upgrade to get. So if you take a look at the Nico Constellation, over here is the fifth star, and then this upgrade is locked behind it. So you have to actually get to the fifth star in order to even get this upgrade. So sadly, another star of discovery that is bugged. Last month, we discovered the Aatrox one that was bugged with his equipment that he got through adventures, not getting that phage. That one got fixed, or at least that's what I was told. Hopefully this one can get fixed as well. Moving on though, taking a look at the build we're going for, the Beast Within, allies have Overwhelm if they have a subtype 1-1. One, one. So we're making sure all of our units have subtypes, so all of our units gain 1-1 one, one Overwhelm. Spectral Scissors, 2 power, support if my support ally is a follower, granted Ephemeral, summon exact copy of it attacking. And the corrupted star fragment support kill my support ally grant me its keywords and stats so we're giving nico extra power here she's going to be able to support a unit make another copy of it attacking and then consume that that initial unit to give herself all those stats just going for a very aggressive build right here now we are going to be going up against lissandra which can always be rough but hopefully we can come away with a win if you're enjoying all the daily content a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated and let's get into it so let's see lissandra has all things grow cold all right, tough, but not the worst. Let's go ahead and go for a support champion here. All right, LeBlanc, that doesn't have any keywords. She does have Fury, Reborn Grenadier, Roar of the Slayer. This having cost reduction is not bad. Cultist is a subtype, and it's a subtype we don't actually get very often. So that's not necessarily the worst. It has sustain both from Vampiric Scepter and the Lifesteal. We could potentially take that lifesteal and uh, put that on our Nico. Yeah, I think since Cultist isn't normally that easy to get of a subtype, I think we will actually grab Kane. We summon a one cost ally granted two two. I think this counts for zero cost as well, right? If you're below a one cost, it still works, doesn't it? No, I don't think so. No, only one. Oof, that's so Yips is kind of bad in that regard because often a lot of what we're going to be playing is going to be like zero costs and so there's a lot of things we're actually not going to get the benefit from but there's others like the wallop that will give us it that could be good but it could also be kind of rough for us i think we'll try to get something a little bit more consistent yeah not procking on zero cost hurts the discount decks this should they should try to change this so it uh works for zero costs enfeebling slow but steady shield i don't think we have any slow spells we're not gonna play that many spells, so shield's not really gonna help. I think we'll just grab Enfeebling, really solid defensive power, can really help us in some later games. All right, low rolled that gold. All right, so not seeing a lot of subtypes. Like, sure there's that, but that's pretty expensive. It is a seven cost, so we could play it as a five cost, but there's probably cheaper ways to get the celestial keyword, and we already gonna have the dragon keyword. Like, it is a cheap capture, which is nice. Oh, this actually isn't bad. So I cost one, and my base stats are 1-1. One, one, I'm a Poro. We're not losing that many stats, but this would then give us Cultist and Poro keywords. 
So sure, we can grab that. We have multiple ways to get Fury, but being able to have Spider and Fury here isn't bad as well. Sure, I think we'll probably save our rerolls and potentially try to get go up and get the spell shield. I think we'll get this just as a cheap capture. That is pretty good. So yeah, we'll save our rerolls and let's go up top. Yeah, top looks like the best. So Omen Hawk, give me five star Nautilus adventure. That would be interesting. All right, let's give it a lodestone. And I think even the tri tail for now. Uh, this is five star Nico. We don't have the six star. All right, so we didn't get our main champion. Feels a little bad. We could actually drop an immediate cane. Does have the darken keyword. Sure, let's just try to capture that unit. All right, that's perfectly fine with us. Not bad. Hmm, this is a three cost. Didn't this used to cost more? I thought this was like a five cost. Am I going crazy? I might be crazy. I thought that cost more. Uh, let's go for the Crested Lionhawk. Was always three. I think it used to be four. See, I... I thought it used to be four because I thought, like, I would consider doing a... Grand Channel's counter build with it. But it's like, even with Archangel's Staff, it's still not enough. It was a four cost. Uh, I think... I think it used... I, Pretty sure I remember it costing four. <laughs> All right, so Poro and Cultist. Dog. Uh, I think we'll actually go here just because we want to get the extra draw. Although being able to use our wallop wouldn't be wouldn't have been bad to go for the Cultist. Probably would have been a better call. Okay, so if we kill this unit, the other unit's going to get reset from the capture, so that's actually not terrible. Leave your bags at the door. Uh, sure, we can drop this. Oh, it's not that big of a unit. I uh, can drop Kane again. Sure, let's drop this. Yes, yours. That's an. Are they seriously attacking like this? Huh. The AI is making some questionable decisions, to say the least. All right, I think let's just attack. We can just stun these two so it doesn't matter where they block because we have Overwhelm. And that should be game. Unless they Frostbite us or something, but... Yeah, I think we're good. I love stun plus Overwhelm. It's the best. Patch 410, mana cost reduced from 3... Uh, two, three, from four. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Yordle, we already have that keyword. Cultist, we already have that. Or we have some of this, but... Getting another one's not terrible. Yeah, we probably should've just... Gone with the yips just to be safe. Strike, draw one, tough. I think let's do strike, draw one. Make sure we don't run out of cards. Yeah, let's try to do that. All right, Trapper, so we have to deal with their captures. All right, let's get rid of Lodestone. Cultist, Spider, Dog. All pretty good. Each one of these gives us two different tags. Or subtypes. All right, so we'll drop Nico, and we'll just play Nico as Nico, because... 
the shapeshifter tag will be good for us. Right, I'm just... Oh, man. So the one rule for the trapper is you always pass first. Although we always had something that captures so or kind of didn't matter, but... Oh, yeah. There's a problem with reading chat and not 100% focusing on the game. All right. Bird. Draw. I think let's go here and reduce down that one's power a bit. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the, the cub. Get some more draw going. We'll probably play just both copies here. We want to play the Bonehide Tritail, but we don't want it to immediately get captured. So I think we will go ahead and pass. They normally play something. Okay. Well, that's still not a unit, though, so... Okay, so that counts. It's a summon effect, eh? Yeah, summons. All right, let's go for our bone hide tri tail. All right, so we can kill that. And then, yeah, just attack like this. Trapper and Frostbite encounter are really annoying. I think you mean the, the Shaman, and yes, that is pretty bad. His fire burns bright in our hearts. Alright, I hmm. I think let's drop this here. I forge in his name. And we will stun this. We want to keep our Nico alive. Just another winter. <laughs> All right, so here we're going to attack before they can play anything. Nico will make another copy of this and also consume its stats. And then we'll attack with these. We need to leave one space open for the other Soren. All right, this will level us and hopefully be game. Hello, name. Oh, Nico, I haven't seen her or gotten her in any way or shape, so curious how she works. She's a interesting one. GG. Reptile, allies have a different subtype than other allies. Play cost one less. This would be pretty good. We could drop this early, just get some more flat cost reduction going. Yeah, we have this subtype, but only like one other card has it. I think, is it just the Soren? Yeah, I think it's just the Glacial Soren. Uh, let's go for the Alpha Wildclaw. I think let's, yeah, get rid of a couple of these. Since we already have the Poro here, this one's not as important. And we're going to get the Poro here. We're trying to make sure we get our champion. If you're saying we have two Kane, that's just because that's what you get when you get a support champion. Uh, let's, yeah, drop this, just play as Shapeshifter still, because we're not really getting that. Uh, we can go for, yeah, we can drop this here. So, could attack, which would help our level up. We could consume some things like the Yordle. This one can at least attack. This one we wouldn't get the lifesteal and it would die. But it would give us like one away from leveling. 
could keep blockers and let's try to be aggressive it wouldn't be bad just to hold back and potentially wait for blockers but i think let's be aggressive here uh curious changelings isn't in the deck It's funny that the Wild Claw has a lot of the same cards we do, apparently. Ah, uh, sure. Let's drop our cane, get that capture off. And we can, yeah, drop a cat. And we should be able to level up now. Alright, and that looks like it's going to be game. Nice. What do you think about Nico, Nico Six Star? I find it intriguing. I haven't actually been able to play with it, but I think it should further help you be just super aggressive and rush down a lot of enemies very quickly. Fine. GG. All right, we already have a dog. Combat reel isn't terrible, because like that's a lot of stats to throw on anyone. That should be getting... I guess we won't see it here. This should be getting our studded leather, though, because this is an animal we're acquiring. This is a follower we are acquiring that does have the keyword dog. Dog should be one of them. So, yeah, that should have extra stats on it. Hmm, this is Nico's bonus star not working. I think we'll go this because we have some synergies with equipment. And this is also just a lot of stats can help us when we fill out our entire board. Hmm. All right, let's try to go up top. Honored Lord does seem actually great. Uh, don't really care about Reckoners. Don't want to die immediately. We have a lot of ways to get Fury, but having it on our Nico so we can try to level round one would be great. All right, Remitter, we would like to get Spell Shield. Unstoppable Force is kind of funny, but yeah, not exactly what we're looking for. All right, sad. Round end, grant all units two power. Round start, summon a cost to cast. Stun the strongest and weakest unit. Uh, grant all units two power. It's actually not bad. This could help us because we're more likely to have more units on the board than the enemy, especially early. So yes, I think let's actually risk and get this. All right, let's go for a power. When an ally dies, grants power to unit in hand. Drawing a card is not terrible. I guess we are going to have some ephemerals die. So, sure. We can drop this here, I guess. And let's go for Inquisitor. Like, I have a pretty good amount, but there's a decent amount of star crystals that I don't have, so it's going to take me a while to actually get everything. Let's get rid of a couple of these. I mean, it's really going to depend on what Riot does as far as when they add in a event pass. Let's just do play Nico normally. Also, what they do with whatever their target farming system is, because we still have no idea what that actually is. So this is two. This is two. This is draw on it. So with what we have right now in game, it's going to take me a long time to be able to get everyone to five and six stars. All right, let's just attack, get some damage down. Just got my ace to three stars. Nice. Uh, we will hold off. Alright, this is great to get on the board. Give us cost reduction on all of our other units. We're kind of just waiting for them to play some things because... We have, like, these captures ready to go. So we could give this to Nico, or we could give this to someone else and then have Nico consume them to kind of lock in those stats. I think that... Let's do that right here. Uh, 
All right, good chance we do get frostbitten, which will be a little sad. We need to leave one. Actually, no, we're good. Here, didn't have a full board. All right, so if they don't frostbite us, then GG, but probably a frostbite incoming. I'm comfortable doing my 10 monthlies a day, unlike someone. Oh, yeah, if only. GG. Huh, Yeti. That's a keyword we don't have. But yeah, some of these... Poro, I think, was also one of them, so... Okay, yeah, the Nico Constellation. Apparently it's bugged, because both of these should be getting uh, studded leather. I think we'll go for the Poro Fly. This one is just a little bit too expensive. Not a little bit, it's a lot too expensive. Champion item, strike, draw one. We already have the Dragon Tooth. We're normally playing it for free. Yeah, we can go for the draw. Sometimes we are lacking that a little bit. Deal two to all units. I am inevitable. Yeah, I don't think I feel like going up top. Let's just go for the Poro Sled. Let's... Yeah, go right here. All right, pretty big unit. And they're probably gonna immediately attack. Yeah, let's drop the Forge Chief to immediately capture that. Kind of wasting our cost reduction a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, let's just go for Nico. This is the one that, yeah, when they attack, they summon another Poro, so we wanna keep them from attacking, if at all possible. So this gives us more cost reduction, but this gives us a massive unit that can really buff up our Nico. So I think let's actually play this here. Silence of Follower, I feel like that could be pretty nice. All right, let's attack like this. Uh, we might... Do we care about stunning that unit? We could silence it. I feel like we probably should wait, though. I think we might just keep the Forge Chief back. We don't want them to get this unit. Yeah, the extra damage I don't think is worth it. All right, pretty good damage. So we won't be able to keep them from attacking. But we do have some good ways to kind of mess with them. Is a big unit. Buff everyone else up. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think we can... Well, this will give us another blocker. Sure, we'll stun this. Uh, let's silence this unit. Uh, we could actually use a Poro. Because both of our Poros are dying. Sure. So let's go right here. So really, they're only getting one impact damage in. I think let's just immediately attack, and this should be enough to end. Oh, GG. Oof. Well, that's unfortunate, but still enough to end. This is why I hate Wallop, or I uh, hate... Nab.
Uh, so neither of these necessarily great. Grave Companions, okay. I think I'd rather deal with Orn than Anivia. Sure, that can be fine. Although Celestials isn't bad. Yeah, I think we'll still drop a Mobilize. Weapon Master, that's something we don't have. Ghost is something we don't have. This is useless. I think let's go for the Weapon Master. And yeah, Elusive, this can be really good because it's not only giving us Elusive, it's also giving us an epic item. And even though this is temporary for the round, we could potentially consume whatever gives this with our Corrupted Star Fragment. So yeah, I think we can grab this here. And sure, let's grab this item right here. All right, Smooth Soloist, Epic Champion item. <laughs> Probably go for the Champion item. All right, let's go for Orn with Secrets Hidden by Frost. This is... okay. All right, let's drop our Nico first. Could go for the stun, which I mean, you still keep all your items, so sure. So I think we'll drop the web spinner because then we'll still have enough for the wallop. All right, if they're willing to end, I am fine with that. So we could equip this. We could then make an ephemeral copy of it. Get an epic item. Let's... It's going to be a bit random, but this could be... Kind of crazy. Double attack. Nice. Let's go ahead and drop one of these just to kind of... Mess with their giant unit there. Uh, do we want the green glitter lookout to attack? We don't have enough to block. I think we might just attack with Nico and then these two units. Yeah, let's go and try to do a bunch of damage and then just survive until next round. We want to go into Lissandra with full health. We'll go ahead and end here. All right, let's just work on building out our board. Although they just dropped that, so let's drop another Forge Chief to get to capture that unit, get rid of their equipment. We can stun this one because it has Overwhelm. Uh, we can block some of these here. Oh, not too bad. All right, let's go for the Plucky Squire. And let's go for the Combat Reel here. We can attack, consume the elusive, and then that will be game.
All right, this should be game. Uh, we just have Nico at five stars. We don't have her at six stars. Yep, GG. Nice. All right, let's get the cost reduction here. Let's go for the champion item chest. Mana deposit. Sure, we've been offered this dragon's tooth like three times. We go for mana deposit. Yeah, that could be solid. This is really just going to come down to luck of whether or not Lissandra shuts us down. But we'll do our best. This is fine. We could pass for them to play something. Uh, <laughs> sure. All right, we will drop this first, get that cost reduced. We'll drop our Nico because we can play her for free. Although the next card we play is going to give us the cost increase. Uh, let's drop the ghost here. All right, we got double attack. That's great. So we will consume this and be able to attack and try to get a bunch of damage down. And yeah, we won't bother with the green glade lookout. We'll need this as a blocker. And yeah, we get tons of draw because of the double attack and we have two of the strike draw one. <laughs> Normally that's fine, but considering we have the cost increase, that might become a problem. All right, I think here, let's drop the mobilize because it's going to hit so many units. Nice. That's, that's great. Yeah, I think we'll just block Lissandra. We could use the Shape Splitter here to try to reduce down some damage. But the Epic Item would go on the wrong person. I think we'll just take this hit. Is it worth for Kai's to go Guardian Orb, Titanic for four starting mana? Or the three relics better? Uh, depends on if you ever had six stars, then no, it is not worth doing that. If you have her below that amount, then the extra starting mana can be very nice. Let's drop this. Let's drop our lifesteal unit. We could go ahead and capture their Lissandra. The one issue is this unit is going to die very easily, meaning they get their Lissandra back. Although they have an Entomb, If we capture Lissandra, there's a chance that they then can't entomb us, which would be good. But with their one mana, they could immediately get their Lissandra back with an Ice Shard. Hmm. Does their Ice Shard actually cost three? I thought it cost one. Maybe that's the fleeting one they make when she's leveled. Yeah, okay. Let's try to do this just so we maybe don't get entombed next round, even though grabbing their Lissandra like that isn't necessarily the best. All right, so I would like to give this unit lifesteal to be able to attack. They aren't at the nine mana, so they shouldn't be able to do a buried in ice. A lot of this stuff is faster burst, so we're going to have to play this just a little bit slower because the payoff is going to be great if we can get it to work, but this could be bad. Alright, so yeah, all of these dying. 
So yeah, we're not going to get the life seal back. They're going to get a Lissandra. All right, what got hit with... All right, so he could capture their Frost Guard. They still have their Entomb, so they could still... Oh, they could still Entomb us. If we drop Kane and capture their Frost Guard, they could immediately Entomb our Kane, get their Frost Guard back, and level their Lissandra. All right, this one has Spell Shield. I think we'll drop this here. But there's just so many ways we get shut down. All right, yep, there's the Entomb. And we can't stop it. Yes, we could try to dodge the Entomb with the Champion spell, but we're still not going to be in a great spot then. Because we could... We have to wait for them to cast it. We could pause and wait for them or pass and they might just immediately not do anything. Let's kill their Lissandra. We don't want those fleeting ice shards. We can attack with the Frostcoat Cub. Any damage he does is going to get reduced down from our Enfeebling. So he's going to be able to stop more damage by attacking and reducing them down by being able to block because they have Overwhelm. Also, any damage is going to hit our other units. The Inheritance will buff up some of our other units, so that can be pretty impactful. Alright, so we need to drop Arcane to get a capture off. Uh, he's not going to reduce down all of that damage. So this would take 20. The one thing I'm thinking with Shape Splitter is to capture another one of these units. But we then immediately release them, which could be an issue. Alright, I'll be at 25. Technically still alive. Yeah, I think we can go like this. Sure, let's drop this Crested Lionhawk. Let's curse them with Suppression. That way we can open attack and they won't be able to do anything. Because this is focus speed. If we immediately attack, they are screwed. Alright, so we are going to go like this. We are going to Ghost Arcane. They won't be able to block. They won't be able to play any spells. Screw you, Lissandra, and that should be GG. Whew. Well, that was satisfying. <sighs> Nico is quite a lot of fun. Very fun early game champion. They can put a lot of pressure on. Still not great into Lissandra though. Have to get pretty lucky. But yeah, if you like to just focus on all of your keywords, or not keywords, but your subtypes, focus on getting as many units out on the board early. Sadly, we were able to find that she is bugged. One of the upgrades for her star powers uh, that is supposed to be able to give you studded leather on a lot of the units you acquire isn't happening. It's like these Poros, these should have stud leather. Uh, so yeah, we didn't get that there. And then I think there are some other ones that we at least saw, even if we didn't pick up. So sadly, another bug star power, or star of bounty as I think it's called. Hopefully they fix that uh, next patch.
Thank you for watching that video, especially all the way to the end. Nice that we were able to come away with the win there. Nico is a pretty solid early game champion. Little sad though that her one bonus node in the constellation is bugged. Hopefully Riot can fix that in the coming months. Now, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. I hope you have a great rest of your day.